Impact Wrestling fans, how's it hanging? It is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel, and I am your boy, BQ. I'm going to make this fairly quick. I've got the uh, teleconference with Sammy Callahan and Conan coming up here pretty soon. Got to prepare for it. All that good stuff. I want to plug real quick the Twitch channel. Um, tonight is, as of this recording, tonight is the Barbed Wire Massacre 3. I was watching Twitch quite a bit yesterday. And they were playing the uh, you know classic content and everything. There's a difference. Some people are saying, "What's what's GWN for?" If you have Twitch, Twitch is like what is it's like Pluto TV as well. But it's like if you're watching TV, if you're at home and you're watching TV, and you're watching uh, freaking Modern Family, one of my favorite shows. You you watch the episode that's on. You, you you see what I'm saying? GWN is more like on demand. It's more like Netflix, and you can you know pull up any pay per view or you know Explosion or Impact. You know like. This is just kind of, even though they're going to have their own original content, you know, as far as the library, same with, you know, Pluto TV, it's like watching TV. So, but definitely get on Twitch. It's fairly troll free because there's a tra chat room, but make sure you guys um, get on there and subscribe to Impact. Anyway, it's being rumored that, uh, and, and this is, and there's no one who can really confirm this for the most part, because right now with the Impact tapings, they actually don't have the announcers there. They do everything in post edit. So it's being rumored that Josh Matthews is going to be transitioning out of the announce booth. So I know for a lot of people, this is something they've been wanting to see. I, I have not. I like Josh Matthews. I love Josh Matthews, as a matter of fact. Here, here is my take on the current. And please, in the comments, don't put, bring back Don West and Mike Tanay. Like, that's not going to happen. And it actually really bothers me when people do that. Because we're, we're, yeah, we want some of the old at times, but we're moving forward in a new direction. It's, it's a new company. So, and I, I just, I'm not into unrealistic fantasy booking. Many of you know that. So anyway, Josh Matthews, I miss him on play by play. There were a lot of like, get on the GWN and watch impact from, you know, whatever, 2015, 2016, Josh Matthews has way more energy than Jeremy Vorash does. I was really excited when JB took over in the booth because I thought he was, you know, I always thought he did a good job with Josh doing uh, the one night onlys and everything. And, you know, I like his voice and everything. I thought they were going to do a good job, but him on play by play and Josh on color commentary, like, it's not working for me. They, there's no passion whatsoever. And when they showed, you know, these Pluto TV clips and all that stuff, and you hear, you know, the aforementioned Don West and Mike today, <laughs> like it's, it's night and day. So I would actually prefer JB out of the booth because JB can do a lot of other things. And Josh Matthews does a lot of other things as well. But I actually thought Josh Matthews as play by play was pretty decent as color commentary. It's like he tries to do the heel thing and a tweener thing. Like it's not really, it's not really his thing, but I'm more... I'm more disappointed in JB as the play-by-play. -play. He doesn't call any moves. You know, this was something that, you know, people gave Michael Cole a hard time with for a long time. Doesn't call the moves. Doesn't, uh, you know, Josh doesn't really call the moves for either, uh, either for that matter. You know, outside of like the blue thunder bomb and, you know, <laughs> there's, there's like those handful of moves, you know, Northern light suplex that, that they'll call. But for the most part, they're just talking about the match. I, I mean, not about the match, but kind of talking about the wrestlers. And they're not putting the wrestlers over and the match over the way that they need to. Like the announce right, the announce team right now is not good. I didn't really like Josh and the Pope that much. I like him individually. I just never really cared for him a whole lot together. But I would take that back over what they're doing right now. If you have heard on the one night only GFW's uh, Cyrus fees like this guy is badass he's the guy I really want to see behind that mic I also really like uh, Rich Brennan that shows you how long ago I, I, I watched the NXT because I think he was the um, play by play when I was watching really like him too so if I had to choose I don't think uh, Don Callis is going to do uh, color. he doesn't have time for that shit not running the company and then you know doing what he does with New Japan so We'll see. Josh, um, Josh, you know, I'm not going to put the spoiler out there. He's, I guess, transitioning more to an on-screen character, you could say. You know, he's he's not going to be, like, off TV by any means. But um, not in the booth. I would prefer him call, calling it and someone on the play-by-play. -play. 
as opposed to them leaving JB in there and him doing play-by-play -play and bringing in a new color person. I guess what I'm hoping they're going to do here is that JB maybe moves to the color side of things, or I would I would not even be opposed to a three-man booth at this point. That's never something I've been a huge fan of, but I really want someone else doing the play-by-play. -play. That's that's my big thing. And it's I, I, I'm sorry, like Jeremy Borash, because you're you're the man. I'm just not enjoying right now. Like I don't I don't hear the passion, and I, I don't like the too much humor is trying to be used. Like call the moves, call the matches. That's why when Mauro Ronaldo showed up, showed up with the other company long ago, everyone got into him because he was calling the moves. Like why does no one do that anymore? Anyway, I said I was going to make this quick, and I've, I've kind of been rambling. I guess it's something I'm a little more passionate about than I thought I was. So leave your thoughts in the comments. Please don't say bring back Mike Tanay. He's not coming back. Um, but but overall, you know, let me know your thoughts, whatever, if this, this is true, if this is what happens. Um, that's all I got. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.